We have so much going on at the Al Stevens Center in January that we thought we would bring our marketing and education staffs together to tell you a little bit about it. So I think the first thing we have going on in um, January, Eric, is our comedy show, right? That's exactly right. I want to tell everybody about <clears throat> this exciting show by the Reduced Shakespeare Company that's coming to our Sorote Theater. Uh, this Reduced Shakespeare Company is a company that started in 1981 and they were doing like pass the hat things in California. And now they've got a brand new comedy show that is chronicling like the history of uh, sports. It's called The Complete World of Sports. Uh, it's going to run from Friday, January the 14th through Saturday, January the 15th. We have two shows on the 15th. And if you wear your jersey, your favorite team jersey, you get a uh, you'll be eligible to win a prize at the, um, at the event. So come on out, it's going to be a great show. It sounds fun. What I love about the show is it's kind of described a little bit as kind of Monty Python-esque. Exactly. Um, it's very slapstick, just kind of crazy, zany, telling about the complete history of sports. Exactly. So it's fun because it combines theater and sports. What could be better? What could be better? Yeah, exactly. And so the next up in January, what do we have next? Is that, um, what do we have next? Josh Bill. Oh, Josh Bell. Josh Bell. That's right. I forgot. That is um, Thursday, January 20th, and that is um, going to be a great show. He's been here once before, but it's been years ago. He's released several recordings since then. Can't wait to see him perform again. And it's a Thursday night, and what makes this event really special is that there is an activity before the show. It's a prelude, pre-concert lecture. It's free, and you can come and kind of hear about the music that he's going to perform and learn a little bit about Josh Bell himself. And then on the evening's program, I think he's playing some Brahms, and then also um, Schubert. And if you go on our website, we have the full program details, so you can check that out. And then following the performance, there's a VIP dinner with Josh Bell himself. So that's a super special Anyone ticket. go to the dinner? Anybody can go to the dinner. So you just need to call in and ask for the VIP dinner ticket. Um, but that's a great opportunity. It's really a small group, so you might you know, you'll probably get one-on-one -on -one interaction with Josh Bell, which is great. And that dinner is at our new... Arts and Education Facility, oh, yeah. Art Playhouse. It yeah. is. It's our, our new sister complex, Art Play, which Kimberly's going to talk about a little later on. And, um, and so that's Josh Bell on January 20th. And then we have this super cool show coming up on the 28th. Yeah, I'm excited about the first time we presented um, a magic show. So that's really exciting. Um, I know my kids are really excited, but I am equally as excited because magic and illusion is a lot of fun. And since that's the first time we're doing that, it's a husband and wife team, the Spencers. Um, they've been doing this forever. They have some really cool interactive um, tricks they do to involve the audience and uh, all that good magic stuff. But then they you know they do some community outreach, and so they're they're a great community partner because we you know believe in reaching out to the community as well. So any magic enthusiasts, come on out. That's January 28th. Um, that's the big hall, the Jimson Concert Hall. And were they? Didn't they receive some awards last year? They did. Um, thank you for reminding me. They were Entertainers of the Year and Magicians of the Year. So can't beat that. Following here. So if you want to. Yep. And that's January 28th. 28th. And then the very next night on Saturday night, we have one of my favorite people, Ira Glass, coming. Um, Mark, you want to tell us about that? Right. Ira Glass, um, as, as you may know, um, is the host and producer of This American Life, um, which has been on NPR as well as on Showtime. Um, it's a great show. Um, it's uh, very informative. It's often funny and even moving. Um, and he is going to actually give us a sort of behind the scenes look in, into how the show is produced. Um, he's going to have mixing equipment, um, he's going to bring um, in clips and video and show how a, a story segment is sort of edited together. So it's sort of like, I like to think of it as sort of like a DVD extra live on stage. Um, so it's really, it's going to be very interesting. So if you like the show or you're just interested in broadcasting in general, um, it'll be a, a great and, and fascinating behind the scenes look. If you're an NPR lover or our local WBHM right. affiliate, uh, uh, that and we're glad to have them partner with us as well. Great. Something I love about the Al Stevens Center, we hear this all the time, is the diversity of what we present. I mean, just look at what we've talked about today. We have this comedy show coming in, and then this you know world famous classical artist an illusion show for the family, and then kind of the spoken word journalism broadcasting show with Ira Glass. So that's pretty exciting in one month. Um, and then, not 
to mention that's our performances in January, but oh my goodness, in January we're opening our new Arts Education Center Art Play. So Kimberly, do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yes, yes, of course. We know that none of that would have happened without wonderful Jane Stevens Comer. Um, it was her gift that's allowing us to greatly expand this program. And we are currently uh, undergoing renovation at a Victorian house, right in the heart of uh, Five Point South. Beautiful. And um, it's just amazing. It's um, hopefully going to be done in the next two weeks. So uh, it's got special studios for visual art, a sprungwood floor for dance. We've got music. We've got a recording studio. Um, all sorts of great spaces uh, we'll be doing um, classes there starting on January 18th. We've got storytelling. Eric Essex himself will be doing an art of recording uh, class. We're excited about that. I think I'm going to take that one. But we've got um, classes for little kids all the way through adults. We're going to have visual arts and private music classes. Um, really anything that anyone might want, we can make that happen. So, and registration um, is open now. Registration right? is open right now. You can just go on artplayasc.org to get registered. And um, it's not just a place to take class because what we're trying to do is, is allow people to find their creative voices through different arts experiences. And we also want people to collaborate on different original projects. So we've got musicians that could be working with visual artists to create some sort of original program. We can just, you know, the sky's the limit and we've got wonderful teaching artists who can help facilitate those, you know, unique partnerships and, and original pieces that, um, that are going to be created. So it's just a, basically a, a place of magic where anything can happen. And um, we can't wait to get it started. Yay. So you can go to Art Play, take a class, and then who knows, one day you might be on the stage with the Absolutely. office. Absolutely. Did you say when classes started? Yes, January 18th. It's Tuesday, January 18th. Everything's going to start that week. And um, the one of the other great things about it is um, there. I think the maximum size in a class would be about 12 to 15. Most of the classes will be between 6 to 10 people. So you will get one-on-one -on -one, um, instruction from, from teachers. So you're really, um, it's just going to be a really it's neat It's not too um, to soon to start thinking about summer camps, which you Absolutely. also do. Absolutely. We're definitely going to do our three drama camps. And, you know, we'll probably explore some uh, visual art and dance, maybe even a recording arts camp. So. The possibilities are endless. Okay, so who knows? And you can find out all about this on our website, alicestevens.org, which will link you over to the Art Play website, mm -hmm. and that website is artplayasc.org as well. So, um, so that's January at the Alice Stevens Center. Very so come see us.